What was your approach to the rotations in the second half? Oh, um, I just found, you know, that group got going and you just ride it, you know, and they had really good momentum, a good tempo. I thought they were defending at a high rate and you go to a group and uh, they respond a certain way. You just go with it, keep it. And uh, they did a terrific job. And what was key to overcoming, you know, the free throw disparity, the, the rebounding, the second chance points? Um, how were you guys able to overcome that? Oh, it helps make, make some shots, but um, I thought we were locked in defensively. Uh, we were able to get stops, you know, when we needed them. And we made big, big plays offensively, you know, certain, certain points, um, not just individual plays, but team plays, where, where uh, we executed well and got open looks and stepped up and made them. Wes, you talked about um, Mike pregame. He was really good. Landry was really good. DeLon was really good. Could yeah. you kind of speak to the, the second and sometimes third unit kind of <laughs> stepping up tonight? For sure. Um, you know, Mike um, hasn't played a ton. He played 21 straight minutes. And to his credit, that's a guy who stays ready. Um, that's a tall ask of anybody. Um, and then, you know, not just to be able to compete, you know, at that level, but to make impactful plays. You know, he he's around the rim and using the rule of verticality and trying to put himself in position to, uh, you know, impact the play. And we throw in a couple threes tonight, and it does change the complexion of the game. And um, Denny was active kind of in a lot of different elements. What did you like from him? I thought Denny played a complete game. You know, I think uh, slow to start a little bit on the defensive end, picked up for sure. But offensively, his, his thrust and pace, um, you know, downhill um, hit with his catch and go, um, his cutting, uh, pushing in transition. Um, and he was also able to just kind of find and create action once we kind of stagnated a little bit. Um, he, as well as Corey, did a terrific job of doing that, uh, which opened up you know, the floor once again for us to uh, uh, get downhill and, and find a three. You guys deployed a couple of different looks defensively then the fourth, you went two, three, and then you box and one Mikhail with Bilal. Uh, what are those two can't looks? Give, you can't give everything away. Well, <laughs> what, what do those looks do for you? And then how much, how does that speak to the trust that you all have in Bilal at this point in his career? Well, I think, you know, we, he, he's seen enough, at the, I think at this point, 31 games in, um, and we've seen enough in him. So um, he had a big play in Portland where in the game we put him on Grant, you know, to guard one-on-one. -on -one. Um, he's going to find himself in those situations game after game after game. Um, and wh whether it goes well or not, those are learning experiences, and he's going to be better for it, you know, the next time. Um, thus far, he's performed remarkably. So... I have more than enough comfort in putting him in those situations, and it's it's tough because um, he's you know we're asking him to do a lot, but um, he tends to do the right thing and be in the right spot. So to his credit, you know he's performed well. One of the better Friday night atmospheres here that we've had this season. How did that help the guys in that fourth quarter with the stretches defensively that you guys had? I think it's uh, you know we saw it a little bit I think uh, a few games ago, and just that home crowd, that momentum, you can feel the. The energy, you know, it, it's palatable, and I think the guys feed off that, and you know, it 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 does feel like you have a home court advantage, you know. So uh, that's encouraging to see that you know the fans are still engaged and connected, um, and of course, we want to continue to you know try and you know put some wins on the board to you know keep them going. With about five and a half minutes left, Kuz checked in, and at that point in the game, it was still pretty back and forth. Um, he scored nine minutes in mm -hmm. a two-minute stretch. Mm -hmm. What did you see from him all game, and then specifically in those closing minutes, what did you like from him? Well, I'll give him credit in the, in the closing stretch there. Um, we, we tried to you know, match up on a little bit, um, and he was able to take advantage of it. So I, th I thought we were disciplined with the execution and our spacing, which allowed him to play. Um, and obviously, he stepped up and made big plays for us. Um, but I think just, you know, all game, you know, he, he didn't score, you know, necessarily that, in that rate throughout the game, but he, he played the right way. I thought he tried to find the right shots, get his teammates involved. Um, and they had some really good possessions defensively. Coach, is there an update on Daniel Gafford's status? Um, as far as? As far as just because he, he was out there for, or he was, he went to the locker room briefly in the end of the first half and then came yeah, back think, to the bench. Yeah, just, uh, um, I think the foul trouble, and I think he just wanted to, take a breath and come back. What does it say about this team that they were able to gut out a win by six points despite only taking, I think, a single-digit number of free throws compared to in the 20s for Brooklyn? Yeah, I think um, you know, you're going to have some nights like that where whether you get the benefit of the whistle or you know, there's, there's a disparity, um, you can do other things. And I think we can you know, anchor ourselves in the defense a little bit. 
Uh, even the second chance points, you know, was an issue a little bit tonight. So it uh, wasn't a perfect game, but, you know, I think, you know, when we had to get plays and make plays, we did. Um, tonight, Kuz was awarded the um, NBA Cares. Sorry, not the full name, but um, you know the, the award. <laughs> yeah, NBA Assist Award. How does it feel to have you know another? This is the second um, person that you've coached that has to receive that award. So yeah, I think um, you know it's an honor to coach guys like that. You know, it's, it's high character guys who uh, understand this is bigger than basketball. You know, that you can impact lives by you know playing a game and entertaining people. That's part of it, but um, they understand the the nature and the platform they have and the importance of their voice, um, you know, lending their voice to certain causes, I think is important, things that they're passionate about and they care about. Um, and they want to impact uh, the communities, not only that they work in, but live in. And he's done it time and time again, as, as have others. Um, and a lot of those things kind of fly under the radar. So it's it's nice that he gets acknowledged um, on this scale, but you know, that's, that's certainly not why he does it. So it's a credit to him and who he is as a man, but also um, as a professional. Hey, Kuz, what do you think was the difference tonight in the win? Um, I think we did a good job of holding them, you know, not getting to the free throw line as much um, outside of the last, you know, ticky-tack calls um, that we had at the end. And, um, you know, we just closed the game out. So. I want to ask you about two players and what you thought of their performances tonight, Denny and Mike Muscala. Uh, I mean, Mike was huge. Uh, Mike did a phenomenal job. Um, he's such a – he's just a, perfect, a professional – doesn't complain about minutes, doesn't complain about really much. You know, he's just here for a good time. He works hard and uh, got an opportunity tonight, made the most out of it, and I'm uh, really proud of him. And what about Denny's performance? Uh, Denny, uh, he did a great job. Um, you know, had a you know rough couple weeks, but uh, he's done a good job today, obviously rebounding and um, you know, really uh, was a catalyst in that third quarter with the second unit. What does it mean to you to win the NBA Community Assist Award for November? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I try to pride myself on being, um, you know, as good as possible and uh, bringing good to this world. Um, you know, obviously, it means a lot to me and my family, so it's great. You had kind of an up and down first three quarters, and then you checked in with about five and a half minutes left, scored nine points in two minutes. Um, Wes said just a couple, just a little bit ago, that you were doing some math matchup hunting and some mismatch hunting, things like that. Um, what's your mindset when you come into the game like that for closing time? Uh, I mean, that's how I want to play. I mean, when you think about like top options on every team, that's how they play, and um, you know, um, I don't really necessarily have the opportunity to do that mo a lot, and. Um, you know, I think for the first, outside of the first and the fourth quarter, second and third, I was really just out of rhythm. Um, took a bunch of grenade shots and then a shot clock, just trying to make something happen. And um, I mean, my teammates really just trusted me and, um, you know, gave me the ball and uh, when I demanded it. And, um, you know, just it feels good when your teammates trust you. So. Um, as you look back over this year, as we're getting close to the end of the year, what what are some takeaways that you've got from this team this season so far? Uh, oh, man, that's a tough question. I mean, it's been a long season. Um, you know, we're just developing. That's the biggest thing. You know, it's not, um, you know, it sucks to say it's not about the wins or loss, you know, because of just where we are right now. But it's about just the building, the habits to have, um, you know, successful years down the road. And, um, you know, we have some positive things. You know, Corey has uh, been a bright spot. Bilal has been a, a bright spot. You know, those guys have really um, got better as the season progressed in <clears throat> playing efficient basketball, team good basketball. Um, so, you know, the, the Gaff, Gaff's been um, really good as of late, uh, especially rebounding. You know, I, since I've been his teammate, um, he's improved in that category a lot. You know, just being just more of a dog. On the on the glass over the past couple of weeks, and um, you know we're just moving forward. You know, we're moving, moving forward. So, Wes said he kind of rolled with the hot hand with that lineup in the second half. Um, what what was it like being on the court throughout that run? It was great. I think the atmosphere was great. Um, Friday night, uh, fans showed out. It felt like uh, honestly, I asked Corey in the locker room if if it felt like a playoff game to him because it was like the intensity, close game, good crowd. 
it was really fun to play today. And uh, I think we got going. Yeah, certain units got going. But everybody participated tonight, which was uh, big time for us. How about the contribution of Mike Muscal in particular? I love Mike, man. He's, uh, he's such a hard worker. And he's always positive. He always brings the energy. And, like, I haven't seen somebody who's, like, like keep working and like his like mentality is so strong like I remember like after a game I don't remember what what game it was like he was struggling a little bit and I told him hey you did the right stuff today but your shots weren't going in and today he made all the right plays and and they were going in so I'll, I didn't have a chance to talk to him but I'm like he had a great game uh he was big time for us um and that's about it Denny, speaking about how fun it was to play tonight, the um, pull-up three you had at the halftime buzzer. Yeah. We haven't seen you do the My House celebration. Oh, just, uh, it, it's it's part, it's it's part like My House, part of like, oh, yeah, count it. It's like, it was like, yeah, yeah, it was like, but it was fun. I mean, uh, you know, I had, I had it going, so I felt like it was going in. And uh, you got to show love to the fans a little bit, I guess. How much is this a win just with the contributions you got kind of up and down the roster that you guys can really be proud of of how everyone chipped in? Um, we just made the right plays. Everybody like was locked in today, did the right stuff, uh, did their task and what they needed to do. And I feel like it clicked for us. We were sharing the ball, we we're playing defense, getting boards. Um, I can't say anything better than that, honestly ask about the second chance point specifically but that's a, that's a big number to overcome what was working in the second half uh, specifically yeah I mean they have good you know rebounders you know across many positions and that's one of their strengths so um, you know I think just you know being a team a team effort you know sometimes I get you know kind of pushed under the basket and just trying to be more smart about my positioning um, but you know I watch the film and I think we can all get better in that like I said was talked about how you really kind of rolled with the hot hand with that rotation in the second half. Yeah. Um, what was that run uh, while you guys were on the court like? Oh, it was fun, yeah. And, uh, you know, I thought it was cool that that, uh, that he went with that, you know. And um, just, uh, you know, like, it was just fun. I feel the crowd was into it. Um, guys were making some good shots. And uh, we were out talking, having fun. And d Wright made some good defensive plays. Um, so, yeah, it was fun through your process personally a little bit about how you can go from maybe having a DMP or five minute stretch here to then being able to play a big load of minutes and how you can stay ready and still impact the game like that? I'm, I'm so fortunate for the coaching staff that we have here. They do such a good job keeping us all ready, um, you know, across the board. And um, yeah, so, you know, shout out to Drake and Max and, and Pete and, and, and Mike Miller just for me personally, you know, always, uh, you know, giving me good, great effort and, and attention to detail and, and pre you know, pre-game workouts um, and in practice and all that, so that all that all adds up, help us stay ready. I want to ask you about Tyus, not necessarily just tonight, but the last two weeks, he seems like he's <laughs> turned a little bit of a corner. Um, what have you noticed, or what do you feel like he's been able to put together, um, really since the West Coast trip, or a little before? Yeah, he's been playing great. Um, just, uh, you know, his pace of play, um, he's so smart out there, he, he makes the right pass all the time. He's been shooting it really well too. Obviously, he's got that great floater. Um, so you know, he's he's a great true point guard, and uh, you know, it's been awesome to watch how well he's been playing. You know, I'm super happy for him. Was it just kind of a matter of him like settling in, getting comfortable, or something? Did you notice anything he's doing differently? It's a good question. I mean, uh, it could be some of that, you know, and just more familiarity. Um, but like I said, he's so smart, so I think he just picks up on things and um, just very skilled and very composed. What do you think about Corey Kispert? What do I think about him? Yeah. Good dude. Great dude. Very <laughs> nice well dressed. <laughs> um, yeah. Just a, a great all around player. Uh, he's really just, it's been, uh, it's been fun watching him play this year. He, he surprised me in a lot of things he can do. Yeah.